first thing I have to say is I'm officially the unicorn pillow putt queen of all time, I guess. I don't know, because I have the original, I have the glow-in-the-dark one, I have the neon one, and now I have the rainbow one. I got the rainbow one during Easter, and I just feel like a pillow pet queen, or princess, or whatever you want to call me. You can call me a pillow pet hoarder, I, I guess. Um... Because you can never have enough pillow pets, I guess. And, um, I think I still need, like, two unicorn ones. There's two more unicorn ones, but I always wanted the rainbow one. But I could never find it. And then on Easter, my sister surprised me with the neon... Not the neon, but the rainbow one. So I was like, oh my god, yes, my life is complete. Yay. Um, the other things I hoard are boxes. I hoard a lot of boxes, especially gaming console boxes, because one day I was actually cleaning my room and I found my DS Lite box, my 3DS um, box, I found my PS3 box, I found my PSP box, and there was another box, but I forgot what it was for, but um, I like threw it all away because I'm like, I've had these things more than like a year so um I think it's time for me to throw those boxes away so yeah the other thing I probably you know hoard or collect are books but you already know that collection um so yeah I, I might have a problem with that um yeah the other thing is is you know a lot of people always ask me why do you have so many pillow pets because they make me feel safe at night I guess. I don't know. Again, you can never have too many, many pillow pets. Um, so, yeah. The other thing that I kind of collect are, like, um, all of the consoles that I've had. I have the original PlayStation. I have the PS2. And then I have a PS3. I'm still trying to save up for a PS4. And I'm really waiting for, like, games that I'm, like, dying to get. Um, Second Son almost had me, but I was like, meh. Should I get it or should I not get it? I don't know. Um, because there's still PS3 games that are coming out that I really want to play. So I'll probably just wait until the PS3 games are completely going away. And then I'll get a, P a PS4 and play all the games that I want to play for that. The other thing that I don't have is the Vita. Which I'm probably going to get pretty soon. Because um, I want to play like three different games that the Vita has, and, um, I'm saving up for it right now, so maybe one day I will get it. One month I will get it, maybe during the summer, where I make more money during the summer, because I'm usually working full-time in the summer, and I only work part-time when I'm in, at school, so that's a thing. Um, and then, um, I do have all the Nintendo handhelds, I can't find my original Game Boy, but that was the first ever thing I got at the, in the United States. Um, I came to America on Christmas Eve, and as a German Christmas, you open some presents during Christmas Eve, and that was the very first present I got, was the original Game Boy. It was the brick, and I remember like getting really frustrated because it was the pa I got Pac-Man and Donkey Kong for the first for the first two games for that system and I got super frustrated with Donkey Kong because it just got really hot it was just really hard for me I don't even think I beat it but I know that it made me really frustrated and I almost threw the console I almost threw the Game Boy in the garbage because I didn't know what it was in the first place because I was five when I went there um, then I got I like for my allowance and stuff, I saved up for a Game Boy Color. I wanted a Game Boy Color because they had this Powerpuff Girl game that I wanted to play, but you could only play it for the Game Boy Color, and I saved up for it, and I got all three Powerpuff Girl games, like, because I saved that much money for my allowance. Like, I didn't spend any of my money. I didn't. I spent about, like, I didn't spend any of my allowance for about a year so I could get my Game Boy Color and get those games. 
that and then I also got some of the Pokemon games because Pokemon was awesome. I have all of the first season on VHS, which is kind of ridiculous. The only episodes I don't have are the first three episodes, or is it the four episodes? I don't know. I have I don't have the first VHS with the first couple of ep episodes on it. So I'm like really sad cuz I'm like Oh, but I have the rest of them, so I guess that's a thing. I also have the first Pokemon movie on VHS. It's kind of sad, because I also have the very first year of Harry Potter on VHS. I have years one, I have, no, one, I have years two through five on DVD, and then I have years, um, six and seven on Blu-ray. So you can definitely see the generation gap that I had to go through between technology, which doesn't make any sense. But anyway, the whole Game Boy Color thing, I have that. I also have the SP. I got that for Christmas, and I felt really awesome because it was cool. I actually saved up for the Advanced, and I got the Advanced, and then my parents surprised me with a SP, which didn't make any sense, but I guess it did I guess it didn't I don't know you would have to ask my parents about that then I um, started doing horse competitions and stuff and got some I sa started saving up my winnings and I got a DS light because I wanted dogs and um, I wanted in 10 dogs because I thought they were the cutest little things ever and I guess that's just me and then now I have the 3DS, and that is because I wanted to play Kingdom Hearts, Pokemon, Animal Crossing, and um, surprisingly, Bravely Default is amazing. If you guys haven't played Bravely Default, you should play it because it has the Final Fantasy feel. It is literally a new game, but not a new game. If you like the old Final Fantasy franchise, like, like Final Fantasy 1 through 4, you're going to like Bravely Default. It is really good. It is really good. Except for except for the ending because the last boss was a pain in the ass because he has a power where he takes all of your abilities away and the only thing you can use is your items. And it just sucks. You can't attack him. You can't do anything. So I highly suggest that you stock up on mana potions and health potions so you can actually heal up and do things because I think you lose your ability for like four turns I think I think it's one turn I had to go through two I think but anyway that's the story of my life so the only other thing I've got to say is sorry for the rambling and the hoarding video stuff but hey I guess that's a video right so the only other thing I've got to say is if you like what you've seen today remember to subscribe or click that mutation. remember to like or dislike, share, and favorite. And the only other thing I've got to say is I'll see you later, my Autobots, Decepticons, and Munchkins of all types. And sorry for Spencer. He's being a little butt. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!